Hey guys, it's Heather here. I hope you guys are doing really fantastic. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, so I just want to apologize to everybody um, for not releasing a vlog in the past couple weeks. Um, my August has just been really, really rough. So to start, um, I felt like I was in really good rhythm of things. I felt very on top of everything that I had to do because in general, it's just you're really busy being a content creator. Um, so, so then, um, like right at the start, start of August, I, uh, I caught it. I caught it. I'm not going to say the word because YouTube's really weird about it, but I <laughs> caught the thing I've been avoiding two years. So it was like late, late July. Um, I think it was like July 26th. Um, so I didn't have that bad of a case. It was like a cold. Um, so still, I, I just wanted to remain inside. I didn't want to go out anywhere. Of course, I wanted to do the right thing as like a responsible adult would do. So um, with that, I was able to really work hard on TikTok, IG, you know, do a lot of things at home with that. Like, I felt like with vlogging, I felt like with vlogging, I really couldn't do at home. Like, it would literally just be me sitting in my room being like... <laughs> so I really didn't want to do that. So I just kind of had to unfortunately take it as a, you know, I guess as a loss, um, you know, get better, get better, go back out there and make make videos so that was like my plan of attack um to do that like right after um right after it all um with all that so then after i got out of covid my um my cat got really really sick sorry um like right after and he just was not doing well at all like he would throw up a lot and then Right after that, like, he was just being, like, really, really lethargic. So, like, we just knew, like, me and my mom just knew we had to take him somewhere to a vet to get him checked out. So, the big issue is here, I feel like in my town, is just not a, nobody can, like, see him. Um, he's under two vets. He's been to two vets. So, we called both of those vets up. We have a mobile vet. We have a vet that we also have taken him to. Um, so unfortunately, unfortunately they said they couldn't get them in, that they just have so many appointments, they couldn't get them in. So then we finally, we ended up making an appointment at another vet that was like, it was like far away from our house. Um, so then we're like, let's try just a final, uh, let's try just one last vet, just one last vet that was a little closer to see if they could fit, fit him into their, their appointment. So then they, um. They were like, yeah, we can, we can fit them in tomorrow. So we're like, okay, perfect. Um, so then we, you know, we took them, we took them to that, that, and, and, you know, and they were really nice there and stuff. Like they were a wonderful vet. And so the vet was just, the, the doctor was just really honest. He just said, he just, just doesn't look well at, at all. We're going to go ahead and, you know, do an x-ray and, and blood work and, and, and see how that goes and see how that goes. Um, so then, unfortunately, that weekend, because it was like a Thursday and a Friday, we didn't get the blood work results. And the x-ray they also wanted to send out to like a lab or something, um, or something like that. So they just kind of had to wait, because another thing too is we had to bring him back the next day because they couldn't get blood out of him because they said he was dehydrated or something like that. So then... Um, so then we had to wait on the blood work. That was just the main thing was the blood work. And, um, so then, um, that, the Monday, it was Monday, it was like a week ago. Um, so the vet called and, and they said that they believe he has, he had, um, lymphoma. Sorry. So, unfortunately, he, um, we just didn't want him to suffer anymore. We really just didn't want him to suffer. <laughs> because, you know. Um, so yeah, so then we ended up um, taking him in. 
to have Silver the Rainbow Branch, basically. Um, I did have, I feel like, a lot of really last moments with him that were really great. Um, he was not an overly social cat. Like, he was really loving, but he kind of did a lot of his own thing. Like, he would disappear in the house for, like, hours upon hours at a time like there'd be times you wouldn't see him like all day because <laughs> he would just i don't know go on his own little adventures in the house um so in his last few days like he was just really clingy and really sweet he was just a doll like i absolutely just love this cat i loved him so much and he just was so special and um he was the first cat I had since like a babyhood. Like he was the first one I watched as a baby. He was my first baby pet that I ever had. And like, so like he grew up, you know, to be, to be like, you know, old. Um, it was really, I don't want to say it was beautiful the whole process, but it was really beautiful. Like the vet has a special room and it was just really, really nice. And yeah, he was just, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's why I've been really preoccupied the last uh, week. It still is really hard to grieve. Like, it's been, it's been like a week, but I feel like I still end up getting really emotional like this. Like, some days I feel like are better than next days. I think today's just really hard is because we, we got his ashes back. Um, so... We, we got his ashes back, so that's why I feel like it's been so hard this, this past, like, today. Um, because, you know, yeah, because he's back, he's back with us, and he's gonna never be apart from us. So the other cats have been not taking it so well either, because they were all really close. Um, so the other cats have just been, like, kind of looking for him, um, They've been looking at a spot and they just haven't been really taking it well. They've been searching and um, they've been extra like on top of us clingy. It's definitely been just like, like they know that their, their sibling is no longer, no longer around and they're, they're sad. Like animals grieve too and, and they get, get emotions um, like, so that has been my past mm, August. Um, it's been really rough. Um, so I'm really working hard to get back on track. Um, I have content planned. I'm really excited for fall. I'm hoping to produce a lot of great content and like in general and all that stuff. Like this is like the perfect time of year. It's the best time of year where we're, we're, there's a lot to do so it, it should be uh really uh great so some more other um stuff going on in my life um i have two other things two other things um so i i've been more active on tiktok um so definitely if you have a tiktok i'd absolutely love it. if you can follow me it's the same handle as my channel um I'm more active on there, so I've actually also been going more live on there too. I just feel like it's like a little less stressful, like I can just go on really quickly and go live and I feel like the signal works better on there. So I've been doing that more often so you guys can still see me. So another thing as well is I, I, I also made a second IG. Um, a second Instagram. So it's actually going to be um, Heather Noel. It's actually going to be a double H, Heather Noel. Um, so this is like more of a personal IG. So it's going to be more about me outside of the parks um, and all that stuff. I just wanted to make separate content on another account. So yeah, if you are on Instagram, definitely check um, that that account so thank you again everybody um for your support um it really means the universe uh to me your support of my channel uh so i hope you still would like to uh watch watch my videos and all that stuff uh so yeah
Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next chapter.